Bay of Fundy, Nova Scotia. Take one. Captain Quinn here in the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia where we can experience the largest tides in the world. Up to 51 feet, I'm told. That's ginormous. The tides will come in and out twice in a 24 hour period. So they'll come in and then they'll go out. And they come in fast here in the Bay of Fundy. Often, so fast, the tides will move so many feet in a certain t period of time that, that you have to sometimes walk on your hands. This natural phenomenon is caused by plate tectonics, so the oceanic and continental plates below us, they're shifting and moving around and shaking, and they've created this large basin, which is now a mudflats, where people can, you know, enjoy all kinds of wonderful activities. I mean, if you like long walks on the beach, there's, there's no longer beach to walk. If you like clam, di clam digging, well, that's here too. Beautiful landscapes and geographical formations, geological formations, kayaking opportunities, sightseeing opportunities. There's whales out there in the middle of the bay. Yeah, lots of fun. Behind me, we have a fish weir. This technology was adopted from a culture dating back to over 11,000 years ago, the Mi'kmaqs. And uh, basically what happens is they've created this giant weir, it's like a capturing device, that when the tide comes in and all the fish follow the tide into this, these ginormous mud flats, they come in, they swim around, and then when the tide goes out, this, this weir funnels them into this capturing device where they are harvested by local fishermen and distributed to some of the local fish markets, I'm sure. Uh, let's go take a look. Would I recommend coming to the Bay of Fundy? Absolutely anytime. Yes. Thanks for watching. Another fun adventure of Captain Quinn. And uh, hope you're having a great summer. Until next time, keep on adventuring. I gotta race the tide in. People have died doing this. <laughs>